How's it going everyone? My name is Nicholas and welcome to the study part on how to set up the civilian page. Today we're going to set up two features on a civilian page which is going to be the warrants and the 911 calls. So let's get started. First you're going to add buttons. Let's just add one here. Let's call this the warrants. And then we're gonna get another button. Call this the number one call. Just like that. Now, before you do anything, go to data, create uh, the warrant and the number one call new type or data type, and add these types in here or new fields. You could pause the video if you wanna see and set them up. And then you have the number one calls. Same thing here. You will need to add these. Make sure you follow the text. And if you go on warrants, wanted user should be civilian. It can't be text. It has to be civilian. Same thing here. Active should be a yes or no. Uh, armed yes or no. Injured yes or no. The rest like date. It could be text. It doesn't really matter. Department could be text because we will be using a Dropbox for this. Uh, let's go back to the design page and let's get our beautiful pop-up we're gonna be starting with the warrants let's add this here let's get our repeating group put a repeater group right down here center it let's add corners so we know what we're doing go up we go here, set the type of content to warrant, data source, do a search for, do a search for, yeah, do a search for warrants, and then wanted user equal civ, current civ, created by equal current user. Now we get a button. I'm gonna call this create a warrant. Of course, you could also change the style. Now, let's finish the repeating group first. Under repeating group, it will show all the active and non active uh, warrant that you have on the, or warrants on the civilian. Of course, it's not gonna show on every civilian, it's only gonna show on a civilian that's been created on. The warrant will only display for that save that warrant was created for. Of course, you could also use the name and you could also create it using this method. Now first, let's get a text. Let's put it here. Copy the text, make like four. Get an extra one. Now the first one will be Oh wait, do it. Is it a search for? Yep. That's weird. Looks like the things are out of the box. Let's put it back. There you go. Just like that. Now, first one is gonna be. And so let's say date. First one is date, then department, then it should be. Let's go here and make another one, which will, this time is going to be warrant reason. I forgot to add that gonna be warrant reason this is gonna be warrant active this one is gonna be warrant injuries and let's end it with a beautiful warrant on now let's add our beautiful trash can which will delete the warrants for you 
and this is so stubborn. Let's find a trash can. Make it red. Because who doesn't love the red color? Start an added workflow. Delete thing. There you go. Current cell warrants. Now, let's just copy this pop up and move this. Now, this one's gonna be really simple. It's just gonna be a bunch of uh, inputs and one draw box. Now, let me get the exact. Alright. Now, if I'm sure, it should be about. Uh, this should be the current. Oh no, Civ. Current Civ. Full name. And let's just make this input disabled. Here will come the warrant. Reason. And then we're gonna have this to be set as current date and time. Disable it so no one could change it. And then let's just check what we have here. Okay. Let's just remove the fourth one because that was not needed. Instead, get a draw box. And write department. I have a list of departments about three departments in here so let me just copy paste them inside then let's just set this to parent I believe it's parent uh, new civilian current civ was it like gender I don't think that's you know what I'm just gonna leave it like that because that's that's how it works or you know what, just leave it. It's not that unnecessary. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna add a toggle, which is a plugin. Let's go here, that's an input plugin. Now let's get another one. So we have two. Get a text. Let's call this one. In third. Write it again. Injuries. Oh no. Copy the text. I'm gonna keep the injuries here. Here, I'm gonna put armed. Now let's just change this to red. Because that's what it's supposed to be. Make the text bigger so we could see it. There you go. Now create a new warrant. We're gonna go here. We're gonna create a new thing. Warrant. Active. Let's just add all these. And uh, there you go. Active will be the first, I believe. Let's go here and rename those. Because it's going to be really hard to tell. There you go. Back to the workflow. Active will be yes. Armed will be checked. Data for and if you scroll down. Current date and time. Department will be the draw box. Injuries will be the... Where is it? Toggle injuries. Wanted user. Civ. Current Civ. And wanted reason. There you go. Now that we have that done. Let's go ahead and test it out. But before we test it out, let's add the button first show where is it which one is it it's gonna be e yep there you go and make sure that e is done 
assign this button so it hides the pop-up E and shows pop-up uh, which one is it pop-up civilian oh okay let's just change this I don't know why I have it civilian it's called the warrants pop-up warrants now let's click preview and give it a try choose your character warrant oh let's just remove that right so the first warrant will be for test one let's say wanted for murder it's gonna be los santos police department he is not injured but he's armed create oh okay that makes sense i'm gonna go here i'm gonna reset input hide and then show it's gonna hide the uh pop-up entry and it's gonna show the menu so let's try that again gonna be test one if you go here it's gonna, you're gonna see it twice so let's try again so let's change the department this time and that's just he's armed because this is murder and he's injured there you go so if you could see if you could come here if it's active yes it is active if it's injured or armed yes yes now let's test it out again they wanted for gta grand theft auto different department he's not injured he's not armed and there you go it's active but he's not injured and not armed wanted for gta the name of the department and then the date of course you could delete them now let's go for the last uh, option which is or the last feature the number one call simply you're gonna just come here and make a group or now pop-up the pop-up will be consisted of two things the first input which will be the location and date no location and the message so first will be the location and the last one will be message. Get a button. Let's call this create no one call. And just leave it like that. Now let's go back here. That looks good. You're gonna click on this power slash edit workflow. Create a new thing. Now one call. Let's add these right here. You could also add the source. Beautiful. Now the first one will be the input message. Then input location. Oh no, that is not location. That will be do a search for now one equal count date will be current date and time location will be current location value and then the last one call source will be the civilian name of course you don't need that option but you could have it because in real life police if you call the number one department it the sim card is just gestured to your name so you could tell who you are and your location of course now now we have the main part set up let's just reset the input and then let's just uh, i believe it's hide it's group g i believe and let's set up let me find the funds there you go let's show pop up G and let's start 
course we have no way of displaying the now one calls so what you gotta do is go to data add data now one calls so there's already two that i created before as a test let's remove those and just wait for it all right perfect now it's empty now one calls let's just say send the chores and some random number and then let's just say shots fired it's gonna send a message it's gonna reset the input then it's gonna disappear which as you can see right here it shows up you could make as much as you want it doesn't really matter it's gonna register anyway as you can see of course you could delete them from here or you could as a dispatcher add a delete button and that is it for this video Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Road to 100 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.